Caledonians have been talking about Splash Facts since mid-April, when the idea of setting it up on First Lake in Lower Sackville was made public. So my name is Dave Wolpen, I'm the co-owner of Splash Effects, and that's exactly what you see in behind me. It's a giant floating playground, water park, obstacle course. There's all kinds of things to, uh, to do that are fun. It's slippery, it's, um, it's uh, bouncy. So you can, you can do just about anything. There's all kinds of different obstacles to, to get through. You can do it slowly, you can do it quickly. There's monkey bars, there's a swing, there's a 50 foot tall uh, floating unicorn. There is, um, there is a familiar looking tugboat. Um, there's all kinds of different obstacles. But starting this Friday, the floating obstacle course and playground is ready to welcome people to its location in Hammond's Plains. For me, this is what it was just all about. It was like, when I think of this, I can't not smile. Like, who can't smile at like a 50 foot tall unicorn? So for me, it was like, oh my goodness, I gotta, we gotta share this with everybody. Like, it's just so cool. And this is the only, uh, Newfoundland and Nova Scotia were the only provinces in Canada that don't have this. Today was like our demo slash friends and family slash, slash uh, media day. And so um, it is supposed to clear up in a little bit. We've got maybe another 30 or 45 minutes of, uh, of some inclement weather. But, um, but tomorrow for our grand opening, it's supposed to be beautiful and sunny. So we're definitely excited for that. But uh, this is fun, rain or shine, as long as we don't have thunder. And that's why we're not in the water right now. After a slight delay due to thunder and lightning on Thursday, the Chronicle Herald got a sneak peek of what you should expect at Splash Facts.